three, we're live. Two, oh. <laughs> Four, three, two, we're live. We're live. Good morning, just Guten about. Morgen. Good morning. The Yow the, the internet. Good morning, good good morning, everybody. Um, there isn't anybody. Good morning, nobody. Literally, look, there's a bit there where it shows you who's watching. Nobody's watching. Oh, you don't like this. All by myself. Well, if anybody comes in, they'll be able to see me. And Lex, who looks like she's been photoshopped in, although she is actually here. I am genuinely here. That really does look green screen. She's genuinely here. Oh, no, there are people in the chat. There are seven people watching. I've got to wait for StreamYard to pop. There we go. Good morning, Laurel D, Linda UK, Jason Entwistle, Kelly Flipping, Fantastic Finds, Tess Southwest, Karen, Welsh Wonder Nia. Good morning, everybody. That'll shoot. That was for Josh. And there goes another load. Look, good morning. Oh, Mandy Michelle, are you still on a sun lounger somewhere? And Jojo says good evening. I don't know where Jojo is, but it's evening wherever Jojo is. Ooh. In Australia. Um, good morning, Richard Payne. Kelly says been waiting bloody ages. Oh, um, we sorry. waited until after 11 o'clock because we've been remembered Sunday. And then, and then I don't know, you were making a coffee and I, I was tidying up. And we were playing talking rubbish, dogs. playing with the dog. Yeah, so... So anyway, it says, is that the pound shop jewellery seller with the blue hair? Are you the pound shop jewellery seller? I, I don't know where he's getting this pound shop jewellery thing from, but yeah. She does sell jewellery. She has got blue hair. I don't know where the pound shop thing's from. She doesn't shop in the pound shop. Well, I do. But not for jewellery to jewelry sell. Jewelry. No. Okay. Good morning, Cheryl Cunningham. Good morning, Claire Plant. Claire Camp. Claire Camp. Go on. <laughs> Good morning, Antoinette Daly. Josh is back in bed. Get up, Josh, you lazy git. Yeah, because we're going out. We're going out again in a bit. Yeah. Get up. Good morning, Tracy Baker, Deb Hughes, Lucy T. Oh, Mandy's been home for since the early hours, knackered. Go to sleep, Mandy. Josh, get up. Mandy, go to bed. Mm -hmm. Good morning, Ruthie. And good morning, uh, real love reseller is Martina, isn't it? Martina. Good morning, Martina. Uh, Ruthie says, my daughter's the one with the green hair. She's Lex jealous. <laughs> Aww. I do like your hair. I like your, She's got different coloured roots these days. She's got violet roots and yeah. blue tops. But look, this just proves that she's not actually been photoshopped in from another studio. Look, because I can touch I'm her. real. I'm a real I'm girl. Give me some style there, bird. Yeah. Oh, I've got a, I'm a unicorn. <laughs> You're a unicorn. Yay. A unicorn. <laughs> oh, Martina says Sail Away's teasing you because he's an arse. Oh, oh, and he says he's trolling you, yeah. Oh, um, right. Okay, okay I've, nice missed, I've missed people coming in. Let me just zoom back up. Good morning, Peter Ray, Kimberly Byrne. Um, good morning. Oh, God. Good morning, Sammy Fizzy. I'm sorry if I've missed anyone. It does tend to zip around, as you know. If I've missed you, comment and I'll, I'll come back to if you. If we've missed you, it's because we don't like you. I love Lex. She makes my channel so warm and friendly. <laughs> Giving everybody the warm fuzzies. We've been to the car boot, so we've got Josh out of bed. He's gone back to bed, apparently, because he's a lazy git. But it was very... Lucy T says Lex is looking younger with every video. Oh, that's nice. It's the, it's the filter. There's no filter on, on this side camera. of the... There's no filter in this room. Look at the state of me. <laughs> <laughs> I've got, I've got um, um, Drag Race Season 1 filter on. Uh, Martina says Sail Away is her other half, so she can 100% tell you he's an arse. Oh, okay. Ah, there we go. She knows he's not. She has to live with him. Good morning, DMH Products. Never good mind. morning. You oh, get a divorce. Caroline Nolan. Good morning, Bumblebee. Claire Riley. Good morning, Claire Riley. Claire Count. Do. That's Claire Squared. <laughs> Somebody actually put a comment and go, what's this Claire Count all about? I was like, I have Claire, no idea. Claire, just started. Claire Squared over to Claire Squared like with Womack and Womack. <laughs> like Womack and Womack. <laughs> We had the most weird conversation this morning and got very <laughs> algebraic at about 7.30 a.m., didn't it? Yeah. It was yeah. Very tough. Uh, Claire James, is that is that Claire Count Three? I've got yes. Claire Plant, Claire Riley, Claire, Claire James. Right. You should start a band. Claire Count Three. <laughs> Good morning, Claire. I'm Claire, and so is my wife. One of one of those wives is Claire, isn't it? Is, a Claire, is there a Claire in here married to a Claire? I think so. Do you think at Christmas people just write that. to Claire? I might to Claire Squared. To Claire to the power of two. Yeah. Anyway, we went to the car boot sale and we bought. What did we buy? Do you want to show them your thing? Do you want to see my stool? <laughs> it's nicer than it sounds. People have been complimenting me on my stool today. As I was walking around, they were like, nice stool. People never compliment me on my stools. But isn't that nice? It's very 70s, isn't it? Does it smell cupboardy? Oh, it does. It smells cupboardy. 
Oh, that's, that's, a very vin that's a very vintage fragrance, that. Oh, that's really nice. Good that's morning. Good Saz Guest and Lolly Frads and Phoebe Finn Fashion Plus. Good morning, everybody. I've got a free hair. Oh, it's actually How the it. devil are you all? I forgot to ask. I don't don't leave that in my room. Don't, don't, don't put bits of other humans in my room. Put it in my cup, remember. Not to drink. <laughs> I'm going to make it. another coffee in that. Yeah. It's got a bit of another human in it. A random human who we don't know. Don't lick that. Honestly, it's like having a small That's how child I get around. Gastroenteritis, isn't it? By looking. Yes, exactly. Things. Mandy has eighty-three to post and can't be arsed. Send them all to Lex. She'll do them. No, just don't bother. Chuck everything in a mailing bag. Just, just mark them as dispatched. And just don't send, send them. them. Yeah, no, it's like that. don't, don't take to Lex's advice, people. Good morning, Sandy Beach. Fantastic I'm name. Laurel says nice stool. I know. Good morning, Joan Morris. Is that all you're showing? Or did, or did you did you bring anything else to show? Um, Sailor says any chance of a free stool sample. <laughs> I'll snip, you can have that bit I'll snip of hair. you a tiny bit off and send it to you. <laughs> you can have that bit of hair that just came from it. I've got two bangles. Martina says, what's Molly eating this week? What has Molly eating this week? Food. Oh, my book that I was currently reading. Oh, yeah. Two plastic bangles. They're 20 each. Bit of fibre each on them. And, you know, you guys all know me. Um, a bunch of little jewellery bits, but also a little saber-toothed tiger. I'm hoping he's a Zuni tiger, said you and I, and in which case probably get at least 20 for him, at least. This <gasps> is quite unusual. Sounds good, says you've got nice legs. I have. So I've got really bad legs. I'm assuming you're talking about uh, my stool rather than my actual legs. We've only just started, Kathy. I haven't missed anything. Good morning, Carrie J. And good morning, the monocle who says morning, pretty ladies. <laughs> All right, Monica. Good morning, Kath Palmer, trousers. who says I've been waiting for you and watching something else. In the meantime, no notification. We've literally only just arrived and started talking rubbish. Lisa know. says, Carla showing a zero to 100 mum reactions. Don't lick that. <laughs> and, then, and me as my child reaction is going, I'm going to do it. I anyway. also, walking around the streets with other adults, going, mind the shit, mind the shit, mind the shit. You can always tell you're a mum when you literally spend your time watching where other people are putting their feet. <laughs> Good morning, Julie Curry. <laughs> Oh, Joe says she likes your hair colour. Thank you. I like it too. She's going the pretties out. I'm very staticky today. I don't know why, but my jumper's very staticky. So I've got a little field mouse brooch. Should I get in closer? As, as beautifully... Um, there we go. Beautifully um, modelled, sort like, of, by like me. Like a panther. A panther. Two kitties. What are the two kitties doing? Oh, snuggling. Snuggling kitties. Two kitties snuggling. A horse's head, like in Godfather. A horse's head. Don't put it in my bed, will you? Horse's head. Um, a Scottish thistle. A Scottish thistle? Well, that was a terrible Scottish Scot accent. Scottish. That was a terrible was Scottish accent. I don't, Scottish I don't even know what that was. It's a Scottish thistle. That was Pakistan. I know. <laughs> That's a Scottish thistle. That's thistle. a fishing crown. Fish and crown brooch thing. Enamel, clasone, and then a bunch of um, it's men's cufflinks. A bit boring. They were only two quid, though, but it's two quid for the lot. Yeah. So, and that's everything I bought. But she I, was I very restrained I spent today. Uh, I wasn't restrained yesterday when I spent sixty quid. We were out charity shopping yesterday. She bought all of the things. Bought everything. All of the things. Uh, that's my that's my pickup of the day and the school. Oh, Julie says you um, you still has lovely legs, and she's sure, sure yours are lovely too, but she can't see them. Wow. Sorry, that's a sad guess. I don't know why I said Julie. I'll, I'll private link you later. <laughs> oh, Steve's in. It's apparently my accent sounds Northern Irish. German. German. Deutschland. Just because Steve's. Good morning, Irish Mike's graphics. Um, Kath says, was it big then, the car boot? Not bad. No, the car boot was today. Shopping in Clevedon was yesterday. So, um, yeah, car boot wasn't bad today, was it? Two, two okay. full barns, two full barns and a bit out in the courtyard. It wasn't huge. She got a stool. Hmm. It's a lovely stool. It's three pounds. Three quid for a stool. Okay, I got fill a bag and apparently I filled it with stuff that I didn't know I'd bought. So while I was filling a bag, Lex was handing me stuff. And I thought that it was stuff that she wanted to buy and we were just putting it all in one bag so we'd only have to pay one lot of three quid. Turns out it's not stuff she wanted. She's putting it in for me. Yeah. So I've got stuff that I didn't know I bought. <laughs> so it's a nice surprise for you. It's like a kinder surprise. 
Julie says, how do I get my photo to show? I added one this morning, showing up in the top right corner, but not in the chat. It's certainly showing for me, Julie. I can see, when I click on there, look, I can see a picture of you. So I don't know why you can't see it yourself, but, but I can see it down the side in StreamYard, if that's any help. And a lovely picture it is too. Sandy Beach says, love the mouse brooch, always wear brooches. Lisa says, Lexis Hall was restricted to items she could fit in her pockets because she's a thief. She's not really, she'd pay for stuff. Although, do you know what? When I was looking at the brooches, the guy was like, oh, remember you were all on camera now? And I was like, oh, that's exciting, isn't it? Mm. Um, but he was trying to make a point like, don't be yeah, stealing don't anything. Steal I mean, literally Thank shoveled you. it all into my bag and run away and wonder what you do. I, I haven't <laughs> Sammy stolen says she still looks all Achilles, which is what we were saying. Yes. Yeah. Carrie says, is the shopping in Cleveland good? Very good for charity shops. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are at least eight charity shops in Cleveland, aren't there? Yeah. But three of them... The first one we went in was so expensive, we all nearly died. Poor Josh. Josh only spends 10p on his stuff. So the, the, the price so is £25 charity. Pound for a jewel's dress. And yeah. Fainted. Yeah, it was a bit like, I was like, I, I tend to walk around going, adventurous prices in this one, Lex, at the top of my fucking voice, because I don't care. <laughs> and then I look really excited. Hi, Jesse. Something and then go, oh no. Oh gosh, I'm like, oof. Kath Palmer says, Do you ever go to the community bookshop in Cleveland? I would have friend of mine runs it, so I didn't know there was a community bookshop in Cleveland. Didn't know it was there. Tell her to look out for copies of Lolita for me, please. Mm. Thank you. Yeah. Um, yeah, Jesse's off to Cleveland. He go on the bus, mind. He goes everywhere on the bus, Jesse. It's, 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 um, it's very middle class to take the bus now. You yeah, know. you're middle class, Jesse. I think he is. And Ruthie says the sun is shining in Richmond Park here in London. So my fill about for three pounds. And Josh managed to get his stuff for nothing this morning. So Josh has spent even less than usual. But he's not going to be doing a haul. Please. Because I made him carry the bag. I was like, I will pay for the bag if you carry it. So he got everything for nothing. But he only got three things. But you'll okay. get 20 people, one of them, which is very exciting. I chucked this in because I've never seen one before. It's kind of a porta potty. I'm very much hoping it's unused. Oh, no, you've got a little gift there. No. <laughs> There's a little something extra. Really hoping it's unused. It is a two-in-one potet plus. Can you guys see that? So it has its information, and then it has a bag of. They've been open, so perhaps has been. I don't know. Maybe I'll just um, sterilise it thoroughly. Either way, a porta potty in with a, in with a bag of stuff. Gonna put your hand sanitizer all over it. Yeah. I think I'll. I think I'll clean it properly. Yeah, but yeah, I don't. I have no idea whether there's any. Um, any value in it but i thought i'll chuck it in when i'm doing fill a bag andrew's in good morning andrew jesse says no he can't afford to drive but get the bus to clevedon i don't know if i've missed anyone sorry if anyone's come in that i've missed good morning if you've come in when i wasn't looking so yeah are you that's about the fifth time you've done that this morning you're going to take the skin off your hands i don't want to be sick yes but you're going to take the skin off your hands and end up with a really bad skin condition so there is a, a there's got to be a balance. Sense. No, there has to be a balance between I am getting a bit germ phobic and I have gone ridiculous. Sorry. Just like a bit worried about your skin. That's just not great to be using I'm worried over about again. my tummy. But you 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 do need sun germs. I know, but not the ones <laughs> that I had last week. I know, I know, but don't give yourself a skin condition. Sorry, we're back. <laughs> this is an Emma Bridgewater tea. Oh. I put that in it. No, I think it's just, no, it's just the, handle. Yes, the handle. Emma Bridgewater tin that Lex dropped in the bag. I think it's like a lunch tin, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. No, it's got lunch in it. No, it hasn't. It hasn't got it's lunch in it, but it doesn't smell very fresh. <laughs> but it's got dinosaurs on it. Yeah, Emma Bridgewater Pottersaurus. I've never heard of Pottersaurus. So that went in for th fill, a, fill a bag. Fill a bag. Fill, fill a bag with a fuck. For three pounds, is it? Fill a bag for three pounds, yeah. And I presumed you wanted this. No. I've got this to add to my many tripod collection then. In a bag, three pound. This is it I just thought it was cool because it's one that you can, you know, grip on things, isn't it? Yeah. Little tripod into the filler bag. Are you sure you don't want it? Because mm. I do have many tripods. About six at the moment. No. Okay, I put this in. <laughs> this is like public chastising live on the internet. I'm just laughing because I'm telling you all. Sorry, man. <laughs> Everybody's going, she's being mumsy again. Mandy says, how did eBay treat you whilst I was away? Don't ask, Mandy. It's been a rubbish week. Everything's shite. It's all shite. 
It's going to be on the streets before long. I'm going to go live in Bridge End, which is the same as being on the streets. This is an open university introducing music course. The Open University Leisure Series Introducing Music. Introducing Music is a self-contained study pack. It's printed video and audio materials examine the basic techniques of Western music and suggest ways of deepening the listener's understanding and enjoyment of music. It's all in there. It's copyright 1991. It's probably worth absolutely nothing, but I chucked it in anyway. Peter's gone, oh, tripod. Peter gets excited by tripods. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Mandy says you've got to take me in if I end up on the streets. Okay. <laughs> what else went into the bag? A scart lead. I don't know why I chucked the scart lead in. I just went, oh, look, scart lead. You can never find a scart lead in this house when you want one, although the chances of wanting one these days are a bit slim, aren't they? Scart. There's nothing scart anymore, is it? Everything's USB. But so. gamers need scart. Gamers need scart, so they go, I'll sell it to a gamer. Well, these are yours. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, things These for are called Yak Tracks, isn't they? But maybe Yak Tracks is a brand name. Grips for your shoes for when it gets icy. Because I have a massive fear of falling over on ice because I once did fall over, wax the back of my head, and I had a concussion for the rest of the day. And so since then, huge fear of falling over on ice. They're very sticky and dirty. You might want to give them a wipe over. Nah. Nice on the back of them. But whatever it is, is now on the inside of your bag. Yeah. So one minute she's germ germphobic, the next minute she's putting random sticky dirty stuff in her handbag. I used to sticky stuff. <laughs> pair of ready-made tie backs from her MFI. Good God! Why don't go to MFI? Good God! Exactly. Like the I worked for MFI for a week. Maybe? I worked for MFI for one week. Hated it. Left. Tell you another story about that when we're off air. Okay. Ready-made tie backs from MFI. They were nine pounds then. They were expensive then. When you think I said that, that must have been the nineties. Nine quid for a pair of tie bags. Don't know whether I'll sell them or not. In the bag they went. But it's a bit of chintz. I've know. definitely sold art straws before. Um, the ones I saw before were the really long ones and they were proper vintage ones, but even so. Art straws, you can use them to make pictures, masks, greeting cards, calendars, collages, mobiles, jewellery, flowers, spaceships. What, real spaceships? Yes. Is that what NASA make their spaceships out of? Art straws. Yeah. Who would have known? Who would have known? And yet... They charge billions to go to the moon. In an Arctural spacecraft, yeah. Good morning, Becca. Good morning, Bronwyn, or good evening to Bronwyn, because it's, it's dinner good time night. where she is. Jesse says, we've got an old CRT TV. It only has ports for SCART, two of them, though. Well, if you need a SCART lead, Jesse, I've got one. SCART. 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 Welsh Wonder says, did anyone else have the lovely snow yesterday? I think that was just you. That was Rexford direction, wasn't it, the snow? Hopefully. Natalie said something about it, yeah. We, we won't get it. We'll Mandy's slagging her head off. Green. Mandy says, bang to the head, explains it all really. Sarky cow. <laughs> Mick Page. Good morning, well, and all just back from local market stroke boot managed by 500 various new sale packs of cards for 500 quid. Okay. Packs of cards like, like, like as in things cards or, or playing, playing cards? cards or keep you busy, like you said. I bought. Um... Lisa's been rude. This was at the week MFI went bust. No. <laughs> <laughs> I bought postcards yesterday, didn't I? Oh, box did. of postcards, yeah. vintage postcards. I'm Ken Chapman. She is now the new Ken Chapman. The new Ken. Mark II. Kath I'm Palmer Ken says she fell over on ice. See, it's, her shoulder. it's just easily done. It's horrible. Karin slipped on wet leaves yesterday and done her back in, which is buggered from slipping on black ice 20 years ago. Ooh. <coughs> None she of you are able to stay on your feet, are you? Don't leave the house. None ever. of you are able to stand up straight. Never leave the house. But this is where I, why I wear my Doc Martens. On the two times I've fallen over in public, I wasn't wearing my Doc Martens. Becca says TV in my spare room doesn't have a scarlet lead socket. Oh, it's also about one and a half feet deep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at Deb. Deb says you only cut your fringe a short while ago. It seems to grow so quick. It really does. I've got some kind of freaky fringe growth going on. It only grows the beard, doesn't it? Good morning, Ian the Tap Doctor. Who's coming just in time to hear me talk about my fringe? He's <laughs> <laughs> like someone's. Can't talk about a fringe. Yeah, it's, it's like, like it triggers him. <laughs> one empty Pandora gift bag. I do actually sell these, but usually when I've got more than one. And not quite so This one's a bit, a bit crumpled on the corner. Still it was there. To you. Oh, don't really know what this is, apart from the fact that, well, I mean, I know what it is because I read it. It looks like 
Wittard, isn't it? No. It is to make plant pots. It's an eco pot maker, and you make oh. your own plant pots out of newspaper. So it's a kit to make eco friendly plant pots. That's cool. So there's your. Your mum would like this actually. Should I send it home with you? No, because we never get any newspapers. No, but you, get, you can get you can pick up yeah, a free you newspaper, to... couldn't you? Or whatever, you know, like the Metro or whatever. No. Okay. Okay. So, so yeah, basically, metro. is that not a Welsh thing? Okay. Basically, it's a kit to make your own um, plant pots out of newspaper. Saves the newspaper from going to landfill. Um, probably quite expensive when it was new. That is very cool. Though. The top's a bit manky. Bergen and Ball, it's made by. Oh, that's. I think that's a good brand, isn't it? I don't know. I bet it wasn't cheap. I bet to make your own plant pot, you have to spend a fortune in the first place on the kit. So I picked it up and chucked it in the bag. <coughs> Excuse me. Lisa says, when it snowed a few years ago, I told my mum to wait for me to collect her in the car in case she slipped. Needless to say, she wouldn't wait and promptly fell over and broke her wrist. That'll learn her, wouldn't it? Oh, no, 11 99 brand Poor new. mum. Okay. Um, what's this? See this? I did not put this in. Oh, no, that is for me. Sorry, that, that All is All this me. bullshit about filling up my bag for me. Steve says he's never slipped on ice because you don't go out your house. No, you know why you've never slipped on ice? Because you've got your Gandalf walking stick to keep you upright. Yeah, I, I just needed a one one pot cafetiere. Thanks, Carla. I picked this up and chucked this in the filler bag. I don't know what it is. I mean, I've got ice, so I can see what it is. It's William Bird. Billy Bird. The complete keyboard music, David Moroni, harpsichords, Musler virginal organ, chamber organ, clavichord, volume one, Hyperion, and volume two. Twelve. Pounds, that is the most niche thing I've ever seen in my life. Clavichord music. Um, so yeah, whether it's worth anything or not, I don't know if I chucked it in. <laughs> there we go. Joe Davies, Joe Davies says Bergen and Ball did a collab with Sophie Conman of the Conman Design Plan. Mm. It does look a bit like the yeah. It's quite a nice design on it. Hmm. Andrew's off. Bye, Andrew. Uh, Kath says she loves a clavichord. But we all. And then I got this. This was the only thing that I actually picked mug. up in the first place. It is a mug. It is a Lawrence Llewellyn Bowen influenced design mug, and I've sold these before for about twelve to fifteen Lawrence quid. Lawrence Llewellyn Bowen is a dick. He is a bit, but if his stuff sells for twelve to fifteen quid, I'll I buy never it. ever like when he was on changing rooms and he was like mm. none, none of his rooms. They were all just ridiculous. You can't live in that. I'm just hoping that what just came out of this duck is just bath water. It'd just be bath water. If you had a tiny little rubber duck, you wouldn't put anything in it that wasn't bath water, would you? I don't even want to, I didn't want to think about it. I'm putting that down. Anyway, there was a tiny rubber duck. Ashley Cummings says, I still laugh at the time my mum fell on the driveway and her wig fell off. I screamed, <laughs> stay there, I'll save you. And then fell straight on my butt. The two of us lay there laughing. <laughs> the wig fell Aww. off is, is, the, um, is the beautiful tip, isn't it? And Joan says, hey, mug time. <laughs> Deb Hughes says, have you got through all your Reese's yet? But I'm working on it. Have I got out of focus? You, you're very focused. It's not all about you. <laughs> now you're out of focus. That's now better. I've got the filter on, <laughs> So yeah, that's the end of the three pound bag. That's not bad. Not bad for a lot. Bear in mind, Josh got three, th three free things in it as well, but then he did have to lug it round. So how much do you make from all this? Oh, Martina says dog saliva in the dark. I can, I can, the idea of dog saliva I'm fine with. Mm. It's human stuff I don't Anything. want. Dog saliva is not the end of the world. All liquids are bad. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm not looking my hat there. <laughs> okay. So I got, where are we? I bought these clothes for 50p each and I picked this up just because it looked quite nice. For me. It's, a, it's a Zara woman quilted jacket with elasticated side panels. I thought that was nice for 50p. Oh, 50p. 50p. 
Probably a million to pounds new. 50p. Sorry, yeah. Yeah, 50p. And then because it was 50p and I only had a pound coin and I didn't want to do that thing where you wait ages to come back to change, I also picked up a men's crew clothing shirt sweatshirt at 50p. That's a bit old, on the old creasy side, isn't it? I think you still get a tenner for crew clothing. Oh, yeah, easily. Nice yeah. Easily. So, yeah, that wasn't bad. I saw one last week for £19. Yeah, crew clothing does okay. Just make sure I missed anything in the chat. Talk about weather. Am I so boring that the people in my chat now talk about the weather instead of talking to me? Let it snow. Let it snow. Can it hold it back? Let it I've never, I've never seen the film. I can so tell because the words are let it go. Yeah. Let it snow. I, I think I managed about five minutes and went, Jesus Christ, this is annoying. Frozen 2 is about to come out. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna... You are. I'm taking you to it for a special Christmas treat. I bought this. I think it's for me. It has no markings, Put so it's probably not it. worth having. Put wooden spoons oh, in look. It. Is that a crack or just a glazed crack? I think that's a, I think that's a hand. Yeah, the handle's cracked. I don't, know, but, yeah. I don't know. Definitely not selling it then. But yeah, I like it. I might put spoons in it. Spoons in it. Big spoons, obviously not fucking teaspoons, because spoons. you'd be in there trying to get out all the time, wouldn't you? Wooden spoons. I like it. Not to sell. Nice job. Just for me. Hi, Zoe Patrick. So we count one. We've only got one Zoe. We've got three Claire's, unless some of the Claire's have gone. 30p for a conditioner. It's good for your hair, you know. Apparently. Yeah. And that is in with my bundle and that is in with my bundle and that is in my bundle these were 20 pence each and so i couldn't leave them they're just bone china floral mugs i've just realized i'm not showing you stuff it's all below the level of the camera these one this one's queens uh oh god i can't something meadow country meadow country meadow, country meadow from queens this one is a ainsley Ainsley's good. They also make This one is also brooches. an Ainsley. Yeah. So two Ainsley. They were 20 pence each. Bone China mug, 20 pence each. I can't not. I know I've got a problem. I need an intervention. Well, yes. I told you. 5.99. Yeah. 5.99. Not those ones. Those ones are new. All the old ones can go for 5.99. You've got out of space. I'm just going to put them, keep putting them back and then you'll be like, <laughs> I've seen These are Ainsley. <laughs> Lost it. Bear with, I'll be back. Like this, this was I paid two pounds for this. Two Jones. Two Jones, yeah. And an Ashley coming in a tree. <sighs> Never work with children, animals, or Welsh women. Okay. Bloody fringe. This is a 1970s, 60s, 70s, 80s, yeah picnic set i've got four big plates four little plates where's the camera four big plates four little well saucers i suppose they are yeah they're saucers because they've got a dip for the teacup that's cool and, uh, and four like. cups and they're in very it's a nice hand very bold they're plastic or we could do sound effects i've got a three-legged horse I think mine's a donkey. Well, we're making Great Britain. <laughs> Steve says she's pulling faces behind your back and she did that chatty hand signal. Did you do that behind my back? I didn't do you it. You realise I can watch this back, don't you? such a lying little shit. <laughs> <laughs> Mandy says only one Mandy, thank fuck. <laughs> Lisa's really laughing at you looking for somewhere to put stuff. Karen says don't watch the Disney live action Nutcracker, it's dire. <laughs> I... Hi, Katie. Fifty holes. Okay, so yeah, so my picnic set. This was two quid. There's a bit of blacking around the rim of the saucers, but I think I, I think I put just put the dishwasher. Rim. rim. I will just put them through the dishwasher and see how they come up. I think. You're gonna rim them. I'm gonna rim them through the dishwasher. So yeah, please with those. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they do need a good rim. Yeah, everything does. Stop it, man. You'll get me. You'll get my channel shut down. Let alone demonetize. <laughs> Hi Shirley Boland, Cat Farmer said hello is get some coconuts and do a double act. <laughs> like that. <laughs> I've got a lovely bunch of coconuts. <laughs> okay, and I bought Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone trivia game, and I'm pretty sure it's worth nothing. Pretty sure it's worth nothing at all. It's stuck down, so I couldn't check when it was all there, but it was two quid. In fairness, the people selling it had a lot Jesus, of boards. Yeah. Oh my yeah, god. It's quality shit. 
Yeah, why, free why brick. You... Free oh. brick with every trivia board game. It's 2000, though. That's nearly vintage. I honestly don't know if it's worth anything or not. Probably not. In my experience, every time I buy a Harry Potter game, it turns out not to be. I know. It looks like fun, though. It's got nice little wizardy hat pieces. Harry Per Otter. Harry Per Otter. What's it called? Uh, and the Philosopher's Stone Trivia Game by Mattel. Philosopher's Stone. Talk about yourself. Not the Sorcerer's Stone, because Trivia. Americans apparently don't know uh, what a philosopher is. They know nothing about philosophy. Or ironing. Or ironing? ironing. Do you know anything about ironing? I've never seen. They called it ironing. An Ameri I've never seen an American YouTuber ironing. No, I don't presume they do iron. I've never seen a British YouTuber ironing because I don't look for those kind of videos, you weirdo. Oh, I've hours of watching other people ironing. Ten quid. Ten quid for my Harry Potter philosopher's stone. Twenty pounds. Twenty pounds. Wow. I spent two. Don't bother buying that. Mandy says, watch the germs on that game. <laughs> yeah, Jesse says he's got the same one. Not worth a lot. Buckle White says, morning. Morning, Buckle White. Morning. Warning. And then everything else is bundled. So I paid fifteen pounds for eight. Josh cups. nearly died. Josh probably is dead. Probably still getting over it. Fifteen pounds for eight cups. But in with the eight cups, I got thrown in the other stuff that I had. So what I already had before I saw the cups from Steve, my car boot guy, was a dog bed for Molly. This is going to go under the desk under here because Molly likes to sit with me when I'm working, and I'm trying to persuade her that under the desk is a more sensible place to sit rather than behind my chair where I then wheel the chair back and roll over a tail. So it's going to go down there, and I'm hoping that Molly will sit in it. Of course, what will happen it's is Molly will reject it, it completely. She will reject it and sit next to it. But I'd sit in that if I was Molly. It looks comfy. Yeah. Yeah. So, three dog beds. I might sit in it now. Hang on. No. <laughs> <laughs> Another one of these puppets. I bought one of these puppets when I went out shopping with you guys the other week, but the one I bought the other week had the squawk, because I squawked in the shop a lot all the way around the charity shop and drove everybody fucking bonkers yeah this one has not got its squawk i think possibly some angry parent has de-squawked this at some point and made the child eat it yeah maybe because there, there should be a squawker in there in the beak and he's silent where's the other one i don't know where, where it is the other one is buried somewhere i can just pretend yeah. squawk 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 I'd be a really good puppy. So, yeah, that went in. Very um, Tat Doctor says, in other Harry Potter news, Emma Watson isn't single. She's in a self-relationship. What the fuck? <laughs> Lisa J says, taking bets she's on how long it takes Molly to eat the bed. And the monocles have got that puppet. I've got that puppet with a squawk. So, yeah, I've got one with a squawk and one without. So, also went into the bundle for free. Two Marmite sandwich boxes. These sell for about five or six quid each. I can't get the light going on the camera. Five or six quid each. So, they went in. Really? Yeah. I don't know who's buying this shit either, but people are. And into the bundle, a Pampered Chef Measure, Mix and Pour in its box. So, again, I don't know what the value is on that, but Pampered Chef stuff usually goes. Jules says, oh, hang on, just two seconds. Sue's in and says her notifications are crap. Good morning, Auntie Sue. And Jules says, morning, girls. Lex, why aren't you making videos anymore? Because I've lost my mojo. Should I buy your packet of mojos? Can you still buy mojos? I used to like mojos. I don't know what that is. You used is. to get four for a penny. They were like like tiny chewets, but you'd get four for a penny. How does she not remember mojos? Remember, your generation X. I'm generation X, and she's generation Z. Yeah. Bye! Bye. Sorry. <laughs> Nothing to say. Nothing to say. He's definitely moved out, yeah? Yeah, he's absolutely moved out. He just doesn't know. Yeah. Okay. No one else. Has yeah, see, Kath remembers mojos. Thank you, Kath. You can just get four for a penny. If you had 10p, you could get a massive bag of sweets. I liked white chocolate buttons with sprinkles on the top. They were called... Jazzies. 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 Yeah. yeah. You can still get those. I like jazzies. You can still get those. Good morning, Sam. Hi, Sam. Everybody's complaining they didn't get notifications. I don't know why. I got a notification. Ian's sending Ruthie to stand in the naughty corner, but I don't know why. What's she done? What did Ruthie do? Called you a... No, I can't say it. 
I don't know what Rufy did, but Ian is sending off to the naughty corner. Oh dear. Frazz, frazz, Frazzles are crisps, Mandy. Frazzles are crisps, yeah. Frazzles are bacon flavoured crisps. Steve says, I had mojos and I'm way younger than both of you. I don't know about this way younger, mate, but thank you for remembering the mojos. How old Steve? 42? 46? No, 56. Yeah, that's not Highland toffee, yeah, I like Highland toffee. Highland toffee, yeah. yeah. And then you could get chocolate coated Highland toffee as Did well, you? couldn't you? Yes, you could. Shut yes, you. Yes, door. you could. But because it because chocolate doesn't actually stick to toffee very well, when you bit into it, all the chocolate fell off. Oh. So. <laughs> no, Ruthie remembers chocolate. Mojos at half a penny. There were and say when I was a small child, they were four for a penny, and then they went up to half a penny each. I like Lucy T remembers shrimps. Molly, come and look at your new bed. Molly, come on, Molly Ness. Come on, Mabel. Come on. Go on, come here. Come on. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Good girl. Come on, then. Look. In you get. Good girl, bed. Good girl, bed. So, no, I sit, sit next in to the it. bed, yeah? Shall I, I put Tweety in the I bed? Sit next to the don't bed. sit next to the bed, you absolute nonchies. C says he's 27. I don't believe that. You can't have a beard like that at 27. In it goes. Just put one foot into the bed, taking the tree out and gone. <laughs> <laughs> Well Sam says, I missed the haul, and the answer is yes, most of it. Most of it. And Peter's off. He's the latest video, video, latest video is waiting uploaded. Ooh, that's exciting, Peter. What's it about this week? What's this week's video about Peter? He might have gone right, missed him. Karen says, Does anyone remember the chocolate tools with caramel in? I remember chocolate tools, but not the caramel in. No. I remember chocolate tools, and I remember the white chocolate fish and chips as well. I like those. No. I like chocolate white, white mice. And Steve says, what the fuck is half a penny? Don't don't tell me you don't remember hay pennies. I vaguely remember them. They went out in like 1977, I think. No, it, no. It was definitely when I was about, say, three years old. So like 1982, maybe. Because I remember going around with Gen Market and things being 99 and a half feet. Mm. No. Carrie says blackjacks made your teeth look rotten. Never like blackjacks. Because <laughs> they're aniseed licorice. Don't like uh, licorice. Molly, get in the bed. Go on. You it was introduced in 1971. Of course it was, decimalization. Duh. It oh. went out in 1984. Oh, sounds close. Yeah. Steve says generally half a penny did not exist when I was a kid. What year were you born, Steve? 1802. Yeah. How old is Steve? 37, 38, 39, 50. How old are you, Steve? It's gone very quiet on this live stream, hasn't it? We're all just one sitting here wondering how old Steve is. Okay, so all of that stuff was free because I spent £15 on these. 1985, Steve says he was born, so there you go. If it went out in 1984. 1985, does that sound right? Does that sound real? Yeah. 34? Yeah. Yeah, I'd be willing to accept that Steve's 34. Jesse says they went out the year before I was born. Jesse, you weren't born in 1985. You were born like last Tuesday. There's no way Jesse's 30 odd years old. No, not a chance. If Jesse's 30 something years old, I want whatever the fuck he's having. And gives him to Steve because. Because, you know, yes, he looks kind of in <laughs> Steve says he thinks he's 33 or 34. Karen says, one Christmas my sister got Jeff a toy sweet shop. Is Joan just saying, like, oh, Jeff yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jesse, you're not 30 odd. No. It's lies. He's not, is he? No. 18, 19, something like that. He's not. No. If he is, I feel like my world has gone upside down. Or have I been watching the wrong person? No, I've been watching this this daily jet. Look, it's definitely him. Uh, he's got very good. I know what it is. It's not thirty four. You know how some things are really good moisturizers. <laughs> and that's it. Mm -hmm. There's Lots no way. 18. Absolutely, Jesse. There's no way you're thirty four. I do not believe you, and I require proof if you expect us to believe that bullshit. And this is not just me flattering you. Wanting. This is literally. I can't work out why you're telling me these lies. Sam's just got back from a tabletop sale. One table. <laughs> you get anything worth having, love? Yeah, the whole table. <laughs> you just bought the table. Just bought a table. Okay, I might just buy a table. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to show you these in a minute. I'm just unwrapping them. There are eight of them. Talk amongst yourselves. I, I might have them. Thanks. <laughs> so yeah, £15 
for these eight cups, but then I've got all seven the other cups. stuff for eight. <laughs> seven cups, six cups, five cups, four cups. <laughs> Claire Borden's in. Good morning, Claire Borden. Claire 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 four. four. <laughs> yeah, so these are Royal Dalton British Airways scene printed cups. Don't they're not all the same, are they? No, see that's I can't even tell what that is. Is that St. Paul's? Yeah, that that's the well, it's not the Millennium Bridge, obviously. Duh. Yeah. Um, Brighton Pier. I don't know. Does it I, think, I don't know if they're all different or whether I've got several that. that no, those like two, those pier, are a right? pair. I will show you in a second. I'm just trying to pile them up into pairs. Bear with, peeps. Bear with. I think that's Brighton. Those two are the same. It'd be annoying if they're not pairs, wouldn't it? Yeah, that's St. Paul's. Yeah, they're not pairs. I've got two pairs and then. And then four randoms, I think. So they are British Airways Royal Dalton Is printed that cups. No, that's not that Everybody's now subbing to Jesse to see if he looks Seattle. old enough. Is, is that Seattle? Is it? It's Is that Fraser? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. I've missed loads in the chat. Look, Andrew's in. Good morning, Andrew. She's back from an epic lion that she really needed. Yeah, Becca's off to see if Jesse really does look the age that he's pretending to be. There's no way that Jesse's 35. 34, 35. No way. Absolutely no way. I refuse. I flatly refuse. Jesse, come round. Yeah. Come on, you live in Bristol. Pop round. Bring well, us your birth certificate. Come and meet us in in Home Bargains in about an hour. We're not so. going to Home Bargains. Don't send no. We're going to Poundland. We're going to Poundland. <laughs> come and meet us in Poundland. And bring your birth certificate and your passport and everything. Jesse, I, uh, honestly, Jesse, if you are 34, then I'm proper fucking worried about why I look like this at 46. Proper, proper put out by that, mate. Because I thought Jesse was like 18, yeah. maybe 19. And Josh is nine. Josh is five for the mm. most, yeah. 34, I have a driving license and birth, birth, birthday certificate. What's a birthday certificate? You've made that up, mate. Birthday certificate. So Jesse <laughs> is the same age as Steve. They definitely need to spot This is Jesse there. here. Look on the screen. Look, look at this tiny young person. Next to a grommet, which obviously shows your mental age. Jesse, I really do want you to send me a screenshot of your drive license. You can block out any, any details that you don't want me to see. But I really, I honestly, because I don't believe you. I don't believe you. I am blatantly calling you a liar, mate. You are lying. I don't believe you. Hi, ads. People are saying hi, ads. So there's, there's ads. Hi, it's ads. Yeah, Steve's like, me and him are the same age. God. In it. <laughs> That's what a beard does for you, young Steve. <laughs> You just look the same age as God. Anyway, look at my lovely Royal Dalton cups. They are British Airways. I don't know whether they're half inched or not, but I've got eight of them. They have sell. They sell at various different prices. Uh, I will probably split them and sell the twos in twos, the pairs that I've got in twos, and then the four, four randoms separately. Um, and I would hope to be able to get at least eight quid each, possibly more. So I'm, I should I should be able to double my fifteen quid. They weren't the biggest. They weren't the biggest bargain buy of the but day get but to get the other stuff, stuff free, free is makes it worthwhile yeah well i mean that's got to be a tenner that pampered chef people are now literally look it's 18 to 20 at the most there's no way he's more than 20. mandy says if i bring my birth certificate can i meet you in poundland of course you can mandy we'll yeah. be there in about two hours that's, mate that's the, get in the car that's the new rules of poundland <laughs> they don't let you in you have to show yeah. your birth certificate on the way in <laughs> there's no way he's 34. i'm in shock i know quite frankly it's disgusting i'm gonna write to my mp do you know who your MP is? Yeah. Madeline Moon, Labour. You better write quick. She, she, well, she's got a majority of uh, 2,200, and so the Tories are out in force at the moment. They mm -hmm. sent me some propaganda the other day, so I just put it straight back in the post box, return to sender. Not at this address? No. Return no, I said, to sender? I wrote on it, please take me off your database. Politics unknown. Nuts. No such member. Yeah, <laughs> no such zone. Anyway, people have stopped chatting. You know why people have stopped chatting? Because they're like, all over on Jesse's channel going, going, there's no way he's more than 20. <laughs> no way. 
if you, if you could see the YouTube viewing figures for Jesse's channel at the moment, it's like whoop. <laughs> So that's that's today's haul. Bear in mind, I don't need any stock. We 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 we've we mentioned that a couple of times, haven't we? And you didn't buy any mugs. No, absolutely no mugs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I think There's these that. count. They don't count as mugs. That's a picnic set. Twelve mugs today. That don't actually exist. That don't exist. Carla, how many of your Jaffa cakes have you eaten from your kilo box? About three. Would you like one? No. Oh, all right. Well, don't have one then. Jesse says, I'll send you a message. I look more like my mental age, though. <laughs> Ian says, I haven't got a birth certificate. I've got a letter from the vet. <laughs> <laughs> and Becca wants to know Jesse's secret. You said YouTube videos on your health regime. Honestly, I'm telling you, protein. <laughs> yeah, rub it in. Rub it well in. Lisa says, I used to get annoyed when I got ID'd in supermarkets. I now love it. I have not been ID'd, honestly, not been ID'd since I was 14 years old. I got ID'd in January on the day that I found out some horrible news and I'd just been crying a lot. And so, you know, as you do when you've been crying a lot, you go and buy some vodka. And I got stopped at the tills and I was older than the person serving me. She was like, <laughs> I'm so sorry. I was like, I'm having a really bad day. I'm at the point now that if somebody ID'd me, I think I'd kiss them. <laughs> I'm like, Mwah, I she love you. My type, so I, I love I, you. I, I, I get excited when somebody calls me young woman. When somebody says this young lady, I'm like, oh me, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everybody's been off to look at Jesse's channel. <laughs> <laughs> Mandy's off to do a mahusif food food shop because her fridge is badly. Oh, just badly. Yeah. My just fridge has got some really away. old curry in it. Get it. I know. I can smell it. I need to get out and put it in the bin. It's going to be a long do, time. Really do. The whole thing. Because I opened it and I was like, "You open the pot?" No. I said, "Don't open no, the pot." Open the fridge. Yeah, it needs to go. I'm terrible because I don't actually use anything in the fridge very often. Well, no, it's it's the people that apparently don't live. Yeah, here. the people who don't live here and don't make a mess. Mm. Josh did get his suspension lifted. He is back up and running and you can buy your packing supplies from him and please go and do that because, you know, he needs to make his millions. Before they sell out as well because I've just bought a bunch of stuff off him. Although I think, didn't he say he's going to order some more things? Oh, Mandy's fridge is baldy. Not badly. Baldy. Oh, baldy. <laughs> what does that mean? Naked. No, there's nothing in it. It's baldy. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. Right. Not got Empty like fridge. a fine fuzz on it and slightly shiny. Polished. Yeah. <laughs> Dome on top. Yeah, a little bit sunburned. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's exactly what a fridge looks yeah. like. Yeah, nice. But with a big beard <laughs> at the bottom. Yeah, have you noticed that a lot of bald men grow big beards? It's like yeah. they're just proven. I can. I still yeah. can't grow hair. I can. Look at my pubes. <laughs> Massive bushy pubes. <laughs> And there we go. It's only taken how many minutes? How many? Forty-seven minutes, and we've got onto pubes. Yay! I think five. that's probably a record. <laughs> so we are going to pound around this afternoon. Come join us. Yeah, anyone wants to come, we'll be there. See you later. Lisa says my sister got ID'd while standing at the checkout with her husband and two children, one of which was about ten at the time. <laughs> He's not happy with this. That's because of the bald beard combination discussion. <laughs> well, it wasn't aimed at you, Steve. If the but if the cap fits on your baldy head, wear it. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna get a pound land. I need to tidy up some of this rubbish again. Oh fun. Um this room is well out of control, isn't it? Yeah, but is it all gonna fit? I don't know where it's all gonna fit. Do you hang stuff point. from the ceiling? You could just raise it all up on pulleys. Yeah. Yeah. Kelly says I had to do a face recognition age ID for a purchase recently. It came back at lightning speed that I was definitely over 25. Oh, I hate that. Such a, such a comforting thing. Yes, you look very old. <laughs> You've got to do a box yet to send home. Oh, shit, yeah. She bought so much stuff yesterday that she can't carry it home. I have literally, I have, it's, there's a lot of things that I've bought. And the stool. Mm. And Steve says, I could grow hair, don't want it. Could do a lot of things, don't want to. Could I would have should have made a change of mind. And Joan says, request, please don't go to a Poundland. Stay with her, stay here with us unless you do live there. Well, live in Poundland. I think we get thrown out, wouldn't we? Yeah. We could do a haul after if we buy anything interesting. Mandy's fridge has got two cans of Coke, some moldy cheese, and a pot of custard. And that's it. 
Lisa says, are you doing a Poundland haul? If I buy enough stuff, yes. If I just, we did say Josh could do a Poundland haul, and then we realised that one item doesn't take long to haul. Jesse has sent a message. Bear with. Such fun. Bear with. Bear with. Bear with. Bear with. Are you bearing? Bear with. I'm bearing down. Are they all bear? No, that's when you give birth. Yeah, don't bear down. Bear Whatever down. you do. Still here. Bear with. I was teaching um, a kid yesterday about uh, giving birth. Wasn't it? Well, she was teaching us, really. Where Remember was that? I? You were sat on the sofa. Lexi was going on about how she knew where babies came from. I wasn't listening to this. What I must have been watching Daddy. Really? I don't remember this conversation. Oh, yeah. She knew all about it. Hang on, I'm just looking at Jessie's photo and wait for it to load. But she very correctly said that you don't have to have babies if you don't want them. Like, don't have to let anyone right. anywhere near you. <laughs> Absolutely. You've this is taking ages here. to load, Jessie. Okay, that's not him. This is somebody else. This is Photoshop. That's not him. <laughs> oh, shut the front door. Yeah. What the fucky fuck fuck? Wow. I mean, I'm going to get demonetized now. Wow. Jessie. Okay. If I can work out how to screen share, can I screen share? Let me know before I do it, just in case you don't want me to. Next, do I not have a trolley thing? I do have a trolley thing, but it would fill the trolley thing like three times. I gave her a trolley thing. She took it home and never brought it back again. I mean, it was a gift. She didn't have to bring it back and return it, but she's never brought it to use on future future journeys. And says, well, I, yeah, I want to get in on this Poundland Hall stuff. What do I do, lol? You just buy stuff from Poundland, mate. That's, that's literally it. Yeah, Carrie says, I hate it when you have to put my date of birth online. You have to scroll back pages. Like, yeah, you're scrolling down. And you're no, do you know what I hate? Filling out forms. Yeah, Jessie says, I can't screen share. I'm in a different freaking box. I'm in the 40 to 50. Share screen. Not 40 to 50. How very dare you? Share screen. Right. Application window. Chrome tab. Sharing screen. Don't know if you guys are going to see this. Sharing screen now, I hope. Sharing this tab to stream StreamYard. It says I'm sharing. This is Jesse's provisional driver license, and it does say that he was born in 1985. Mental. Unless this is it. Unless he was born in 2016. I'm looking it at is, the wrong bit. Isn't. And he's three. Maybe he's three. <laughs> oh my god. Seriously, Jesse. Just while we're still screen sharing, let me just go across to YouTube for anyone who hasn't had a look at Jesse's channel. I'm coming back. To you guys in a second. Bear with. Bearing with. Bear with. Bear with. Such fun. Bear with. Oh my God! Come on! Slowest computer everywhere, anywhere in the world. I agree, Carrie. I think it's a forgery too. What are people saying? I can't see the chat because I'm trying to do this screen um, share Steve thing. Steve's saying 1985 is a good year and Jesse's saying it's a very good year. I think it's a vintage year. This man! This man here, currently on your screen, chatting away about I don't know what he's chatting about with because I haven't watched this yet. He's got a touch of the Brian Coxes about him, don't you think? There we go. That's a compliment. Closing that now. What the actual Jeff? How is that man 30-something years old? What the hell? What the hell? I'm, I'm, I'm speechless. I'm without speech. Good morning, Hitman UK. Good morning, JJ. Good morning, Double Karma. Mandy says, look at Carla getting all techie. Steve says, legends were born in 1985. Steve, why does he look like that and you look like that? Mind you, you've got kids. <laughs> you've got kids, mate. That's what makes you look like that. That's what makes me look like this. And that's why she looks like that and I look like this. Because you haven't got kids, so you look young and beautiful. Did you do something horrible behind my back? Why did you look no, so No, no, just when you, when you said about, like, <laughs> like, why do you look so bad, Steve? Yeah, I didn't say, I didn't say, why do you look so bad, Steve? I said, why do you look like that, Steve? Oh, my God. Yeah, Monica says, I'm turning 30 on Thursday. This has made me feel worse. Thanks, Jesse. Oh, Andrea's right, though. Good genes. Because you look at my mum. Mm. My yeah, your mum looks, your mum looks like But our mums are the same age. My mum looks, my mum looks older. My mum's best friend watches this. My mum looks older than your mum. But my mum definitely has age. got like fantastic genes. Mm. For sure. Okay, Kath's had a ka -ching. Well done, Kath. No ka -ching for me. I've made £7.50 today. There we go. 
I can't, no, none of us can believe this. None of us, Mandy says, excuse me, where's my kajing? Have you turned your shout back on, Mandy? That would make a difference. Here you go, have a kajing. Catch. Where did you get that kajing from? Uh. <laughs> so what we've done in this morning's broadcast then is we've we've showed you our tap, we've we've mentioned pubes, we've we've insulted Stee. <laughs> Cheers, nice boost, nice boost to the confidence, Carla. Hello, darkness, my old friend. <laughs> Stee, I think you are a gorgeous, mature gentleman. <laughs> What's that? Smallest violin playing just Oh, okay. I thought you had to do it like that. No, well, why would you play it up there? The but even so, why would you play it? Sorry, up it's there? from Reservoir Dogs. That's how he does it in that. Okay? Never seen it. Never seen Reservoir what? Dogs. Never seen it. People get killed, don't they? Kind of gory, bit, bit, kind of slash them up and drop them about a bit. Brilliant. Not my no. kind of thing. I don't like dismemberment. Brilliant. Did you not watch my book video? No dismemberment. Brilliant. Oh dear. Um, Kath says her kitchen was only six ninety nine, but better than nothing. I'll take a six ninety nine kitchen right now, quite happily quite happily if anybody out there watching has been looking at anything in my shop and thinking i wonder if she'll take a stupid offer on that she probably will today <laughs> eight quid for the lot. <laughs> yeah bring it bring a van take the whole lot for a tenner <sighs> right so we it, we've been 56 minutes we've insulted Steve. we've disbelieved jesse called him literally i've openly called him a liar i apologize for calling you a liar you did not lie i do not apologize for saying you have no right looking like that at 34 i'm not apologizing for that so I've called Jesse a liar and had to backtrack, mm -hmm. climb down. Um, we've mentioned pubes. We've shown them the tap. We've told Mandy to go to bed and Josh to get yeah, out of bed. Yeah, we sent Mandy to bed and told Josh to get up. I don't know if Josh has got up or whether he's gone to sleep because he hasn't commented for I a long time. I know what he's doing in bed. Sleeping. Oh, that. Okay. Sleeping. And Dendry says, I'm late again, as per. You're always late. Literally. I, I, I don't know whether you just wait around outside feeling too shy to come in or what, but you always come in just near the end. Ian says, I've got 200 auctions finishing tonight and bids on three items. That sounds about right. That's how my auctions always work. I've got 10 auctions ending tonight and bids on three of them. Nobody likes you. You have no friends. <laughs> uh, Sue's off. Bye, Sue. Bye, Sue. I love you. Lisa says, did you move the office, Carla? No, and we're not talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> it will fit. It will fit. In my elasticate, elasticated just have no side air of in here. Oh, air is for pussies. <laughs> Ma uh, Kelly says this stream is not helping my self esteem. Looked in the mirror this morning, I thought, "Yep, it's true. You end up with the face you deserve." Hashtag misspent youth. Aww, <laughs> Kelly, I think you're face. gorgeous. We love your face. We loves your face. And the rest of you. I'd swap your face quark, for mine. Quark. My face looks really lived in. And it's got fantastic hair. My face looks squatted in. This is the problem. <laughs> <laughs> my face looks like it's been squatted in by the homeless. <laughs> No, 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 by, by 90s hipsters. 90s hipsters? Yeah. That, that think they're creating an art factory. You're saying my face look, looks graffitied? I'm saying it looks like a work of art. No, you're not. You're saying no, I look not. like a Banksy. I, I, could, I could look like a Banksy. Yeah, I could look like a Banksy. Josh says, <laughs> I'm still here. Something has popped up, though. I bet it has. Does it, does it fit in an envelope, Josh? So we won't be able to join us later. All right, no problem. You just you just work on whatever it is that's popped up, and don't He's worry about us. He's on Tinder, isn't he? That's what it is. What did he put on his Tinder profile? Oh no, that was Anthony. We missed that completely. Yeah. Natalie was pulling the the fluff out of the tumble dryer, and Anthony went, "Don't put it in the bin. It's really good for Tinder." And Natalie's blank face. She was like, "Is that are you pulling the women?" And he was like, "No, for Tinder, for starting campfire." That's genius. <laughs> Women like a bit of fluff. That's hilarious. They do. <laughs> they love a bit of fluff. Mandy says I don't look 45, which would be great, but I'm 46 and I do look that. <laughs> and Joe Morris says, yeah, hooks from the hooks from the ceiling for office storage. Becca says beauty is within. Unfortunately, it's quite a long way within. <laughs> Mandy said create a TARDIS. That would do it. That would work, yeah. And Steve says, Steve says, yeah, she does, does look 45 or 55. <laughs> I love you too, Steve. I didn't say anything bad about you. I just, I was just querying why you and Jesse look so different if you're in the same age. But then let's say we establish you've got children. Josh has been taxi to his mum. He was off to see his nana in hospital. Nothing's popping up in bed legs. 
<laughs> That's, That's hitching. for hitching. <laughs> yeah, not with me though, Josh. You better not be with <coughs> weird men. Oh, bless Joan. Yeah. Look at that. Joan says, I saw an old friend yesterday who marvelled at my white hair. I'm partially sighted, so I thought I was still <gasps> blonde. A bit of a shock. Bless you, Joan. I bet you're stunning, whether Absolutely. it's white or blonde. I freaking love white hair. <laughs> Yeah, I'm. I, did, you see, did you see Heather's video yeah. where Heather is going to stop dyeing her hair? I think she's going to look yeah. at me. She's going to be Gandalf. Yeah, she's going to look fabulous. I wish I was brave enough to stop dyeing mine. It's the it's the growing out stage. Yeah. It's so horrible, isn't it? I've honestly considered but shaving my head I've for charity. My hair. I have but no I've idea what. Honestly considered is. shaving it for charity and starting again for one bald and then just letting it grow through white. Yeah. But I know what I'll look like with no hair. Because I used to have very very short hair as a teenager. It doesn't suit me, and I'm even fatter now. I, well, not only will I look like a lesbian, I mean, Hannah can't say lesbian, I will look like a lesbian, which is fine, I don't mind, you know, there's nothing wrong with looking like a lesbian if you are a lesbian, although it's a bit off-putting if you're not one, because people think you are and then you don't pull, or I don't pull anyway, but I will, it's not so much that I look like a lesbian, as I will look like a big old fat man, <laughs> I really will, I will look a little bit like Buster Blood Vessel. Oh, I quite like him though. Nah! He's, he's kind of cool, just get a pinstripe suit and get some braces. Steve's off, bye Steve. Ashley Cummins says, my skin is beautiful. She thought I was younger. I think that's a filter. Love that. Thank you. Uh, Mandy, she says, she's finally given up and dyed her grey. I've, I've been dying my grey since I was 21. Look at my stripe now where it needs doing. Very tempted to shave my head. Would you all sponsor me? If I said I was going to shave my head for charity. Yes. I would refuse to shave my head until I'd raised £2,000. We could do that. If £2,000 is, is We could do that. Let's a do it at Hitchin. <laughs> you're not shaving my head at Hitchin. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Yes. No. I'm not going to Hitchin anymore. <laughs> Lisa J says I want a Cruella de Vil white streak at the front but I've only got two or three grey hairs so far I'll send you some I've got five I've got loads Josh says he's going to get 30 listings done this afternoon well done Josh I believe in the you the six pence profit off each of them you're going to do really well <laughs> I love you Josh Mandy says no I'm now totally grey what, what you dyed it grey she says, I've dyed my grey, finally give in. No, I'm now totally grey. No, she's dyed mine. I've dyed mine grey, I think she means. Is that what you mean? You've dyed it grey? Hmm. Ashley says, I'm 33, stopped dyeing my hair a year ago. Get a lot of pressure to dye it, but I can't bother with the upkeep. That's it. I'm sick of dyeing mine every three weeks. That's why I'm just going to the hairdresser to do mine now. Josh says, I'm sure we have a wig somewhere. You won't need to cut that fringe. I've got, still got the blue one hanging here from the uh, live stream that I did with Lex that time. <laughs> Ian says, what's this grey you speak of? I have chrome. So you've dyed it grey, Mandy. I'd like to see a picture. I'd like to see what it looks like. I had grey hair for a while. Very grey. Hmm. Quite cool. Carrie Jane says, when is Hitchin? Double comma says 31st November. Is that correct? No. No, 30th. 30th of November. 30 days have September, April, June. And it's 30th of November. It's on the calendar. Look there. Is there 31 days in November? No, 30. It's on the 31st of November. It's the 30th of November. Don't listen to Lex. She tells lies. Just because Jessie doesn't tell lies doesn't mean you can take over. But remember, it's all sold out. So if you haven't got the tickets... It is sold out, yeah. I'm afraid you'll... It is. I don't Ooh. know what... Dingy dong dong. Bingly bing bong. Oh, Mandy sent me a message. It's black and white! Yeah, I think that might be cheating. <laughs> if you send me a black and white photo, how can I tell whether it's grey or not? <laughs> that could just be bomb, couldn't it? Yeah. Or even pink. Cheating, man. Cheating. Yeah, Natalie. Yeah, trying to borrow money. Tell yeah. me why she thinks I'm the one for that. I just sent her some money. Did you? I just bought something off her. What, just that, just a second ago. Well, no, last night. Oh, let uh, 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 uh what's 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 little uh, Josh send me an invoice for the bags, mate. I haven't paid you for my bags. Mandy says, Serious, I'm gray. You can't send me a black and white picture and see if that proves that you're gray. Monica says, After seeing Jesse, I think I'm gonna need to dye my hair before hitching. Everybody's gonna turn up with like, like, home done. <laughs> like facelifts and stuff. <laughs> a bit of Botox. <laughs> Deb says for charity, she thinks you and Lex, you and Lex should both shave your hair. 
Next Sorry, doesn't want to. <laughs> but no, I'm definitely never, ever shaving my head. I don't care how much you raise for charity. Screw them. Sorry. That's Julie awful. Curry says, I'm turning no. 50 this month. Scary. Grey at the top, dark underneath. That sounds cool. I think I'm grey all, all the way around. Holiday. Have a look at my roots at the back. At the back. Like, part my hair across the back and see if it's white all the way down. God, it's like part in the red seat. I have thick hair. Um... Yeah, it's grey, like a stripe all the way down. Yeah, so I'd be grey yeah. all over. Yeah, not That's just. Cool, yeah, grey hair. Ow. I like grey hair. Ow, there's a knot there. Ow, 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 ow. Yeah, Josh is going to send me an invoice. Fair enough. Right, I suppose we better say goodbye, haven't we? Let these good people get back to whatever it is the good people do on a Sunday. You said you wanted to go to church today, and we didn't go. Uh, we went past the church. That's close enough. I don't think that counts. Yeah, it does. I, looked I think when, I it, when like, you right, die, God. when you die, if it turns out it's all real and you get up there and he goes, when did you go to church? I don't think doing a drive-by is what he's got in mind. Look, just because it's a bill. He wants like, actual church, attendance. Church is in our hearts. Okay. I've got Jesus in me. I don't think you have. I've got, I've got something in me. Yeah, something. I don't think it's Jesus. <laughs> I beg to fly. I'm afraid we're just going, love. I'm definitely going to get into heaven <laughs> for sure. Heaven's crying out for people. Like you better me. hope heaven really is a half pipe. That's <laughs> your only chance of getting in. <laughs> heaven is a place on earth. Which place? Uh, yeah, but which place on earth? She doesn't wherever, specify, does she? It's wherever I am. Because I am the centre. Apparently, of I'm in heaven right now. It's funny how you can't tell. <laughs> right. You're all wonderful. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you, Jesse, for entertaining us all with your ridiculousness. Can't believe Jesse's 34. I probably won't sleep tonight because of that. That's probably going to play on my mind. You're just going to watch that video. I genuinely thought he was 19-ish. But he's definitely got a, a touch of the Brian Coxes about him as well. That's, that is a good thing. 19, I thought. I like Brian Cox. Just want to say Cox. Cats get dressed. Oh. Ian says I can't see Jesus without seeing Eric Idle. <laughs> Always the Look on the bright side of life. Yeah. Always look on the light side of life. Life's a piece of shit when you look at it. Lots of laugh, laugh and death's the final death. word. Death's the joke, it's it. true. When you're feeling in the dumps, don't be silly chumps. Just push. I'm, no. I'm, I'm, I'm totally all over um, this song, aren't I? When you're chewing on life's gristle, don't grumble, grumble give a whistle, whistle. and this will oh. make things turn out for the best. And oh. always look on the bright side of life. What's the last bit? Always oh, look on the bright side of death. Do do. Just before you draw our terminal breath. Do do. We might have to watch Life of Brian tonight. He's not the Messiah. He's a very naughty boy. <laughs> right. Thank you for watching. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Everybody go off and do something productive. We love you. Don't relax. Wow. Who do we love best? Apparently we love Lex best. I don't love Lex. I love all of you. Mm. I can't do that. Why, how does that work? Like that? Is that it? That's Lex all over. Love you. Have a wonderful Sunday. All You're all Lex. splendid people. Take care. See you soon. Oh, 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 oh. Before I go, the waffle will come out tonight as usual, but from next week, the waffle is going to move to Tuesdays. It, it will still be, be a Wednesday. It should be a Wednesday weekly waffle. No, it's going to be a Tuesday oh, weekly okay. waffle. There's a reason for it. But, yeah, so it's going to come out on Tuesday. So this week's will come out as normal. There'll be a little postscript at the end of this week to remind you that for next week, if you watch The Waffle, it will come out on a Tuesday. Sorry about that. You can watch that. it on a Wednesday. You can watch it on a Wednesday and make it the waffle, Wednesday Weekly Waffle if you want. You could not watch it at all if that's what floats your boat. If you haven't thumbs up, do a, do a thummy up thing for me. There's, there's, there's a lovely people's. Joan says, Molly, what, you want to see Molly? She was here. Molly. 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 Come on. Somebody wants to see you. Come and see Joan. Come see Joan. There we go. There's Molly. Say hello, Joan. Say hello, Auntie Joan. You're so beautiful. You are the most beautiful girl in the whole world. You are. Okay. 
I love you all. I love you all. I'll see you soon. Take care. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. How do we get out? Where's the, where's the leave button? End broadcast. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Terrifying dog. <laughs> <laughs>